second. I gotta get. I gotta get ready for this. That's better. Well, uh, thank you, uh, Michelle. Thank you for everybody for coming out, and thank you, Michelle, for having me on the Mo Monday stage. Um, this is gonna be fun. I love telling this story because um, it's 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 an absolute. Uh, Every time I even think about the experience, it blows my mind. So, let's get into it, shall we? So, how many of you people here know what Fan Expo is? For those of you who don't, it is Canada's largest comic book convention. And it's held every Labor Day weekend at the Metro Convention Center on Front Street here in Toronto. I've been going for a long time. <laughs> I'm a bit of a geek. Let me rephrase that. If there was a geek parade, I'd be at the front carrying Stanley on my shoulders. Um, I am a huge geek. <laughs> and so Fan Expo is one of the wonderful things I love about it is they bring in celebrities. I've met Henry Winkler, uh, William Shatner, Christopher Lloyd, who played uh, the professor in the Back to the Future movies, and just all sorts of neat people come out. So it's 2013 Fan Expo. And as always, me and a bunch of friends decide we're getting hotel rooms, we're down there for the weekend, we're gonna cosplay, we're gonna have ourselves a great time. And we do. Um, the celebrities are there, they do Q and A's, you get to ask them questions and you know, talk to them, get autographs, get pictures, it's really cool. Uh, and you get to meet a bunch of people who are into the same stuff you are, which is always cool. So we are there in 2013. And it is the first Fan Expo appearance of Toronto's very own Stephen Amell. Anyone who knows Stephen Amell is? You know, okay. So there's a show on the CW called Arrow. It's based on the Green Arrow comic book series. And the head, uh, you know, the head character is Oliver Queen. And he's portrayed by Stephen Amell. Him and his brother Robbie grew up at Young and Bloor. They're great Canadian actors. So Stephen, it's his first Fan Expo. And Arrow's been on for one season, and we're all jacked. It's so good. And every day at the end of Fan Expo, what we decide to do is we always pick a pub. Pick a bar, pick a pub, pick a patio. Let's all meet up and talk about our days, right? So my, it's Saturday of Fan Expo that year, and my warrior brother and I, Duncan, get to the patio at Jack Astor's on Front Street. And everybody's already there, including my friend Jeff and his wife, who I have never, ever gotten along with. So there's two chairs there, so Duncan and I place our orders, we sit down in the chairs, and Michelle's telling the story. She was in line and got to see the Q&A for Stephen Amell. She was very excited. It, it, ladies, um, if you've never seen Stephen Amell, it's worth a Google search. Um, <laughs> but she's telling this story, and she tells a story about she's in line, and the line's long. It goes down the hall and around the corner, and that line's been there for like an hour and a half, almost two hours. And her and her husband Jeff were there, and she says, it was really cool. We're talking about our day and what we're going to do with the rest of the day. And we look over, and Stephen Amell walks by with security and these two young kids who host this show on space. And he's just like there. He's like a few feet away, and he just walks by. And he walks around the corner, and we can't see where he's gone because it's around the corner. And she says, all of a sudden, I hear this loud, obnoxious voice going, oh, my God, it's Stephen Amell. This is the greatest. You lock. I love you. You know, your show's amazing. I love Arrow. It's so incredible. And she's like, oh, and this guy just wouldn't shut up. He kept yelling and yelling and yelling. How much you love Stephen Amell? Like, we get it, dude. Just, just shut up, you stupid fanboy. And Duncan and I start laughing, like killing ourselves. And so she glares at me across the table and says, what's so funny? I said, well... That was me. I was that guy. <laughs> Yelling and screaming in the hall. So let me tell you the greatest Fan Expo experience I've ever had in my life. I'm in line. I've been in line for about 45 minutes to an hour. 
and talking to people, and they're all digging the show. We're all excited. Stephen Amell's first time. And all of a sudden, I look over, and around the corner comes Stephen Amell. And he's with security, and these two kids that host a, space show, a show on the Space Network. And I'm like, oh my God, it's Stephen Amell. And I'm like, holy crap, dude, your show rocks. You're amazing. I love that show. Green Arrow is so good. You're so good as Oliver Queen. This is, I'm so excited. Oh my God, thank you so much for all the work you do on the show. And I look around, and nobody else is making noise. And I'm like, you guys are all still in line with, we've all been in line for an hour or two. We might want to get excited. This is the guy we're in line for. So I'm like, Stephen, you rock. And he looks over at me, looks me in the eyes, and he blushes and puts his head down and walks. So they get into the auditorium. 15 minutes later, the line starts moving. We're going in. So we get in, and they're letting people. We go to the, the double auditorium doors, and they're shooting everybody to the left. Everybody go to the left. Go to the left. Me and my buddy Duncan get to, the, to our side. You know, we're going through. And all of a sudden, two Fan Expo people stand behind, in front of us and go, no. And we're like, I'm like, oh, was I too loud and obnoxious? <laughs> Am I getting asked to leave? <laughs> oh, no. And, and the person from Fan Expo goes, no, you, you, you folks go that way. So we're going down these hall, and it's stairs, and it's curving, and you're going down and down and down these stairs, and we get to the end of the hall, and there's just a door. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> there's nobody there to tell me where I'm going now, but the hallway ends in a door. So I open up the door. It's front row for the Q&A, and there's two empty seats left. So with the speed of Mercury, Duncan and I <laughs> jump into those seats. I may have thrown a couple elbows. I'm not, uh, it's not my finest hour. Um, so we sit in the seats, and about 10, 15 minutes later, Stephen Amell walks out with these two kids, who, these two young people who host the show on space. They sit on either side of them, and they pick up, you know, everybody's going nuts for Stephen Amell, and everybody's clapping and stuff, and then one of the hosts, one of these young people, picks up the microphone and says, listen, we're running a bit late, so we're just going to jump right into the questions. Stephen Amell picks up his microphone and says, no, we're not. And these, these two young people are like, what? this isn't in the script. What? <laughs> this is way out of line. What's going on here? And Stephen Amell stands up from behind the table and he says, where was that guy yelling for me in line? So I stand up, and Stephen Amell meets me eye to eye, walks over, the picture's on my Facebook, <laughs> leans down with his hand extended, shakes my hand, and says, you made this con for me. Thank you so much. So, what I'd like to share out of this story is, in life, stories happen to us. And when this amazing piece, when the universe opens and shows you something truly incredible and amazing, don't you dare ever be ashamed of that story. When you have something absolutely amazing and incredible and this thing of light happen to you and just this memory that puts a smile on your face, don't ever be ashamed of that story. Share that story. We are, uh, since the dawn of time, we've been sharing stories. These are important. And don't let anybody else dim your story. Somebody's always going to shit on it. Somebody always will. But it's your moment. It's your light. And just share the hell out of that. Isn't that what Mo Mondays is all about? Thank you. Thank you.